Hello, Floss Tube Stitchers. It's Shelly at Just Stitching Inc. in Strongsville, Ohio. Today is August 23rd, and tonight is our Friday fun night. So we have these monthly potlucks. On uh, different Fridays, we change it up from month to month, depending on the holidays or what else is happening. And tonight is the night for August. We're having hot dogs. We usually have hot dogs once during the summer. And then uh, I provide the main dish and everybody else brings a potluck dish. Oops, I keep shifting. There, I wanted to show you. Um, we can fit 18 people around these three tables. And then my helper and I sit at other strategic locations in the shop so that we can be available to cut fabric or refill drinks or check somebody out at the register. So I thought I'd do something a little different tonight and film the ladies at their show and share. So I warned them, wear something cute, cause you're gonna be on camera. So hopefully you'll get to see some interesting things. We have an eclectic group that comes on Fridays and they just stitch everything under the sun. So I hope it's fun for you. And uh, I'll probably say something again at the end. All right, thanks for watching, bye. All right, so here we are at Friday Fun Night, and we're gonna start with Christine. What are you working on? Well, actually, I finished um, Stand for Freedom. Oh, very nice. And that is by London Place. And then very nice. I did an Easter apron by Sue Hillis. Cute. And then I took, um, I actually wanted to um, take a class through the EGA, but I missed out on taking it, but I was able to get the kit. And this is a uh, designed by uh, Janet Zickler Casey, and it is a nutcracker ornament in needlepoint. Cool. So that's done. I can't wait to get it all cut out. And, into an ornament, but that's be the next step. And then I am now working on November Sampler by Sugar Stitches. And this is what I've gotten done so far. And this is what it will look like finished. All right, now we have Valina. Okay, I am currently working on a class project by Rovaris. Um, mm -hmm. It'll finish into a pin keep. Um, a needle minder and a scissors bob for our Halloween. This is how far I've gotten so far. And I've been, I played with dyeing fabric a while back, and this is the piece I kept meaning to bring in and show everyone. Oh, that's pretty. I forgot. That so, is really pretty. It started out pink. Is that going to be a door prize tonight? It could oh, be. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think it's a 28 count. I forgot. That's pretty. Um, that is what I have for the Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Thanks. All right, Val, let's see if I can see you from over here. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. So this is a dimension gold kit. Ooh. I'm known as a stocking lady, so I have a number of stockings, and I finished this in 2010. And then in one of my Count Across Stitch magazines, they had the ornaments. And then I'm working on a London place. Oh, wow. Phantom Plantation. Wow, that is beautiful. Wow, you've gotten far on that. Well, my husband is bringing uh, the town square. Oh, okay. You know what? We can take a picture of that. Okay. I could. We could add it to the end. Okay. Okay. <coughs> I think we can see Jeannie from here. I'm Excuse me, Belina. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I'm working on Sue Hillis's Study in Blue, and this is what it looks like when it's finished. Mm -hmm. And this is what it looks like when I'm working on it. This is the top. Yeah. Very nice. And this is the alphabet for the side of the box. Ooh, you're Very pretty. Yeah, we're getting there. Nice. That's it. All right. And 
Jen. It's Jen's first night. She didn't know she was gonna be on camera. <laughs> she joined. She didn't get the memo. <laughs> well, I'm working on the short so hawk run hollow. This is the actual third block, but it is my 10th. So I am almost done. I have two more to go. I have this one and then one more to go. So I have one, this one to finish and then the two. But, so this is actually the third block, but when it's done, nice. it will look like this. Better. Very nice. So, getting there. Yep. And it's carriage house samplings. So okay. Reluctantly agreeing to show us her stitching. Hi, Lisa. Hi. <laughs> We're stitching the pumpkin heart by Sub Rosa. It's a gift. Oh, that's cool. It's a gift exchange gift. Because oh. that's all I ever stitch is gift exchange gifts. <laughs> and there's how much is done. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Very nice. All right, Charlotte, I'm going to get you from this angle, hopefully. Okay, yeah. I'm working on hand, heart and hand. Halloween is a hoot. Mm -hmm. And this is what I have. What I what I do is just do half stitches. And then this way, when you're out, you don't, you don't have to worry about concentrating and counting. You just Very smart. talk and work. Very smart. Carol. Okay. I have a couple things by Amy Brecken. This is my favorite. Carol is Amy's um, biggest fan. Yes. <laughs> use not fat, use fluffy. So that's perfect. I love that. And this is one of her frames that she made too. Mm -hmm. And then this is another Amy Brecken. And this one is um, 13 patterns. Mm -hmm. And it is, it started in June. And we get patterns two every other month. So we won't be done till next year. Mm -hmm. And I am on so pattern cool. three Don't on that one. Very nice. And then this is, this one I'm doing, <laughs> it's crazy. It's called Crabby All Year. And I'll have 12 months of them. Mm -hmm. And it's just things that you crab about every month <laughs> of the year versus happy things. So this is by, what's the name of Raise it? Raise the Roof. Yeah, Raise the Roof. Mm -hmm. And it's an old pattern. But um, I love it anyway, so I'm finally doing it. So there it is, everybody. So. All right. That's all I have. Okay. Thank I've you. All right, this. Sharon, okay. you are up. Okay. Up. I just finished. I'm beginning it frame tomorrow. The Nativity by Country Cottage Needleworks. Mm -hmm. I don't have the pattern Very with nice. me, but I finished that. Is that um, pearl gray? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. My favorite winter yes. color. Yes, and I did the beads for the eyes. They look so much better than French knots. <laughs> Yay. Very and nice. Then I have, um, these are uh, from the Heart needle, needle Art by Wendy, and I have three of them so far, mini samplers. I have July mm -hmm. and August and September. Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but we'll get some more done. Well, you could wait till all 12 are done. I could. I make, I make some, I put them in and out of a, uh, a hanger of some kind or something. I yeah. Know. And they go real fast. So makes you feel like you get something done in months of the big projects. Yeah. And I'm working on the Four Seasons by uh, Little House Needleworks. And that's as far as I've gotten so far on that. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Thanks, Sharon. All right. Then we're going to peek over Teresa's shoulder because she's working on something really intricate with lots of specialty stitches. This is cool. a needlework. Uh, it's called Springtime by Julie Farah. Yeah. And um, it was a class with the American Needle Guild. Mm -hmm. And I am almost finished with it. Yay. Very nice. Did people in the class do it in different colors? No, we all oh, did it in the same color. Oh, okay. I came as a kit. Oh, okay. All right. We'll edit that out. I am working on this Halloween project, which 
I think is Ursula Michaels, but I, the original pattern is at home. All I have with me is my working pattern. Um, and my finished project. Oh my gosh, Tammy's been working on this forever. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Standing ovation for the advent calendar. Uh, it took me about 14 months to do, and it is a dimensions pattern from 1999 that was called Santa's Coming by Barbara Mock. And I had to, of course, stitch all the banner and all the little ornaments are stitched on 14 count plastic canvas, and they are attached using rare earth magnets so it doesn't damage my stitching. <laughs> so, nice. Awesome. It's all done. Cool. Yay. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're doing that. We're over here too. with Carol. Yeah, you can show the chart. So this is an old chart from 1990. And I haven't been cross stitching since the 90s. So I just started up. I found this beautiful store. And this is what I'm working on. And I'm going to put little buttons that I already bought on it with Halloween people. Mm -hmm. And then I don't have anything to share because everything I ever made I gave away. So I am sharing my mom's picture that she made oh. in 1986. Wow. Oh, nice. Oh, that's neat. I have it hanging in my living room and my dad framed it. So oh, that's so nice. Team. Yay. This is also Carol's first night, and yes. she barely knew she was going to be on camera. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I have to say, if my friend Norma is looking at this, hi, Norma, I love you. Oh, Mary's my helper. She's my Friday fun night helper. And I am working on the Lizzie Kate um, Stitching mm -hmm. Forever Housework Whenever. Mm -hmm. And I had just finished um, this one for my sister her birthday. Oh, let's hope she's not watching. <laughs> she, I already told her. Oh, okay. And each one of these buttons she picked out because she plays. Oh, that's right. She plays with the buttons with her granddaughter. So oh. she wanted me to stitch those buttons on that's there for her. That's right. That's cool. It's a nice frame for it, too. All right, Monica's a little afraid to be on camera. She thinks her parole officer is going to have a cow. I'm in witness protection. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, okay. Monica had some cute things. Okay, so that's Ooh. my last finish. That's Very a nice. Design harvest, chalkful harvest. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And then I just finished this one this week. Oh my gosh, look at her skirt! Isn't that cool? That is adorable! And the ruby red slippers. Yeah. That is neat. So I just finished oh, that. I love it. And then. Monica always does something different with her framing. It's never normal. <laughs> it can't be normal. <laughs> And there's usually always some kind of sparkle in there. That's right, because it's got a sparkle. And then I just finished this like five minutes ago, which is the black pearl from Primitive Air. Yes. Which is so not what it's supposed to look like, but you know. And it's, no, it's okay. You did your own thing with it, and she's gorgeous too. Neat. And then I have not started yet, but the next start is Stone Street Stitch Works Book House. This would this was an instant download, people. So don't worry that it's black and white chart. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's so illegal. Don't let her tell you that. <laughs> she chose not to print it in color because it's expensive. Right? <laughs> nobody got time for that. That takes Very five dollars nice. away from the stitchy oh, budget. Oh, let me let's see that fabric again. I, oh, yeah. I can't remember if I got a good shot of it. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Cyprium. Cip Cyprium. Yeah. yeah, from Picture This Plus. Yeah. Very nice. All right. Okay, You're going to have to blur my face. I'm just saying. <laughs> I want to go back to, you know. All right. Power. Amy, I think I'm going to try to do it from over here. I think I can get a better. That is not my name. <laughs> her name is Darcy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Darcy McTrickster. I started this. I got this on the tour last year. And mm -hmm. it's just a bunch of weird different stitches. And I got bored and I started that. And I have to get the little spade and garden implements here which I ordered 
and um, I'm waiting to get those, and then they attach over here. And I made her a brunette instead of a blonde. I love it. Anyway, that was just something fun. And I don't, that's the only finished thing I have this week, and I'm still working on my two John Clayton's, and I have the Geisha oh, wow. and, the, uh, and the movie star. So I have those. Wow. Those are impressive. By Coke. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll get an endorsement. Eat tomatoes. <laughs> this was a door prize. Ma Mary brought tomatoes from her garden. <laughs> we have another Carol here. All right. And I'm working on a band sampler slowly. <laughs> and I did bring two. I don't have the patterns, but I finished Halloween about two years ago, but I had the spider. In the, he was had his body down lower than it should have been, so I fin finished that last. I moved the button, and then that I was the shepherd's finish. bush, right? Huh? Shepherd's bush. Yeah, I guess yeah. it was. I got it here. <laughs> I don't know where the pattern. <laughs> well, thank you, Carol. <laughs> and this one, I I left the pattern at home, but I didn't finish. That's it. a scarlet house. Yeah. Okay, you know what? That yeah, because I did that one too. Yeah. That looks good. So, that looks really good. That was it. Yeah, I'm ready to frame them now, finally. <laughs> good. All right, and then Char has a couple of things. Okay, um, I'm working on a series from Drawn Thread, and this is done. Got it upside down. This is <laughs> Welcome, and it's four seasons. This is summer. And the second one I finished in the four seasons is Autumn. And I'm Very currently nice. almost done with winter, but have spring Very to nice. do. I have a little fun with winter. The color, the fabric color is lighter than um, I originally was going to use and then what was suggested. And the whites didn't show up quite as well as I thought they would. So I varied the thickness. I did the snowman in uh, one strand and the snow on the buildings in three, and it kind of popped it. And then I'm putting little white beads where they're supposed to be single crosses that would never mm -hmm. show up. But I think the little white beads are. Perfect. So this is good. The nice thing with this is uh, the framer, our framer here from Valley Framing, fixed this so I can undo it and slip the different seasons into it at home right. and only have to buy one frame. Perfect. That's economical. Good yeah. job. And then All just right. quickly, this was a long drawn out project that actually there are 68 colors of floss mm -hmm. in it and it wow. it took longer to do than I thought it to do to do but it was worthwhile mm -hmm. and that was a vicary collection? this is a vicary okay. yeah very nice it's beautiful she's all set for all the seasons and all several holidays <laughs> All right, Valina, you have some explaining to do here. What the heck is that? This is my new art container, and it used to be a candy container. My foster brother loves sour candy, and I was walking through the store, and I happened to see a toilet with two plungers on it. And he said it was sour candy, so I bought it for him. And when he finished, he threw it away, but my mom noticed it in the garbage, and she goes, no, no, we need to keep this. She can use it for an art container. So I have been using it for orts. Perfect. <laughs> so then we can just flush them away. That is hilarious. So, I love that, it. Bad luck to flush it. <laughs> Good thing there's no water in it. <laughs> Thanks for okay, sharing. So that was too funny. <laughs>
And then from video number 20, I pulled Doreen Deskins. And for commenting on my bloopers reel, she's going to receive a $20 gift certificate to the shop. And what we usually do is keep the gift certificate here um, so that the mail order customer doesn't have to worry about how much they've used or if they've misplaced it or even waste a stamp sending it back when they're ready to redeem it. Um, so we'll talk, Doreen. Contact me. See you next week, everyone. Bye.